Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a drawing that's going to require the use of both our compass and our protractor. We've done some drawings so far that have used each of those tools, but today is going to be combining them. So we're going to be doing some circles and some angles on a single two-dimensional view drawing. Today's drawing is the cup washer. Let's dig in. So here we have <coughs> the handout of the cup washer with all the dimensions on it. Uh, this drawing is not centered as a handout, but we will be centering this drawing on your title block and border, which is really easy to do for a single view like this. So I will demonstrate how to go ahead and do that once we get going. Um, this drawing has some extra lines on it because it is used for figuring out where things are. So there's this circle right here, which is kind of like a center line circle. And that's where the, these three equally spaced circles are going to be centered on. And we're going to be starting with uh, those circles before we can find these slots. <clears throat> and then we got another circle here, just one of them this time. This center line circle is actually it says typical up here. So there's going to be three of them, one on each of these center points. And where this center line circle intersects with this big circle, that intersection is where these slots are going to start and stop. So we will have to draw the circle three times uh, as construction lines in order to see where that goes. Um, <clears throat> and then the lines of the slots here all angle into the center. And we can kind of see these center lines right here showing us that, that these lines are aiming into the center when we draw those. For today's drawing, uh, all of the center lines, we're just going to leave as construction lines. Uh, so theoretically, we'll see them very lightly on the page. Uh, you shouldn't have to erase them, but we're not going to draw them as center lines in your actual handout. And you'll see that because I'll go ahead and finish the drawing today in the demo for that piece. We do have some odd fractions here. Um, 0.5625 is going to be 9 sixteenths of an inch. The rest are fairly normal. 375 is 3 eighths, 25 is a quarter, 0.5 is a half inch. Um, but this one right here might catch some of you off. That is 9 sixteenths of an inch. So we should have a blank title block and border, like we see there, to get going again. And on that blank title block and border, you're going to fill in what you need to down below. I'm just doing cup washer and SK07 to save a little time in the demonstration, uh, but you're going to be filling that out just like you have been using. Uh, a lot of you have been struggling to remember to put in these guidelines so that you know how tall your lettering should be within your boxes. So don't forget to be putting those construction lines or guidelines in for that. This is a, a one big circle, <clears throat> so it's easy because we can center the center point of the circle in our drawing space. So all we have to do is use our ruler to find that midpoint. So our drawing space at the top is 10 inches. So I'm going to make a mark at 5 at the top and a mark at 5 at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and draw a construction line in there. And then over here our drawing space is should be six and a half, so three and a quarter from the top down in both directions, both sides. <clears throat> and I'm going to draw a construction line there. So that is the center point of this drawing. That makes it fairly easy for us uh, to get this drawing centered. I'll show you by drawing the biggest circle first. So a diameter of four and a half inches. So I'm going to set up my compass again. I'll open it way up. I need to go to half of that because I'm always drawing the radius with um, the compass. So two and a quarter is the radius of four and a half. Just like before, again, I'm on a glass desk, so I'm going to be spinning my paper. And I'm going to go ahead and make this <clears throat> an object line right away. And 
again, that's the overall outside size of the cup washer. And go ahead and make the inside one full darkness right away too, inch and a quarter. <clears throat> That's going to be five eighths of an inch. Should be that circle. All right, so now as I had mentioned, we're going to be drawing these three circles next before we can get to the slots. So I need to find the angle of them and I need to draw this center line circle telling me where they intersect. So this center line circle is two and a half to here. So from here to here is uh, one and a quarter, from here to here is one and a quarter, from here to here is one and a quarter. It's all the same. <clears throat> so I'm going to set up my compass for the radius of two and a half, which is one and a quarter. And I'm going to draw this one as a light, lighter construction line. There's, hopefully you can see that as a lighter construction line. And then my first of the three circles is straight down. So it's gonna be right there, will be the center point. And then from there it says equally spaced. So if we've got a circle 360 degrees around, and we divide that circle into three sections, 360 divided by three is 120. So I'm gonna set up my protractor now right on the midpoint and 90 plus 30 is going to be 120. So I'm going to make a mark this way at 30. <clears throat> and I'm going to make a mark this way at 30. So now I can come up here. And just kind of make a little check mark, a little cross hatch with a light line showing me that right here. And right there is going to be the other two center points. Okay, so that is 0.5625, 9 sixteenths. Half of that's going to be 9 30 seconds, which is just shy of 5 sixteenths. About there. This is going to be an object line. <clears throat> All three spots. So that's giving me those three visible lines. Now, as I mentioned when we first pulled this out, where this circle right here, this 1.375 inch diameter circle, which is on this center point, hits this circle, that's where the slots are going to start and stop. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this one in right now. I'll draw these two in right now. And then I'm going to draw this circle, and we'll start to see how that comes together in one spot. So I need a 3 inch and a 4 inch on the center point. So a 1 and a half. It's going to be the inside circle for that arc. 
I want this for now as a construction line. <clears throat> and then I want one at a four inch diameter, which is two inches for a radius. Again, as a construction line. And then I'd mentioned that circle over here is one and three eighths. Huh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen, so that's going to be eleven. Uh, that's 11 eighths, so it's going to be 11 sixteenths. <clears throat> For the radius of that. And that's going to be right here as a construction line. So this circle is this center line circle that we see. And then we got two circles close to each other. One is for this circle here, but the other one is for the slot. And then this one's for the slot. Common mistake is people will use this one for the slot, but this is for the circles here. It's actually this one up here. So where this intersection is, I'm going to draw a line from that intersection to the center point. And right there is what we're going to keep. That's an object line. I can do the same thing over here. Uh, where those two meet up, which is almost straight, but it's not. <clears throat> and I have to copy that circle on the other two spots in order to get the other ends of our slots. So as a construction line, that one and that one. So now we're going to take our ruler again and where those intersect and then draw a line to the center of the cup washer and that is <clears throat> an object line. You're welcome to use construction lines for this because if you grab the wrong intersection, then you got to sit and erase it, and that can be a pain. So if you want to go to construction lines first, I understand that. Now we can darken in the slots with an object line. So we're going to have to go back to one and a half inches and two inches on the compass. And we're only going to be keeping parts of this, so I'm going to make it an object line from here, if I can get it right, to right there. Again, because of video, I'm hitting it twice, so you can hopefully see them better. It's hard for you to probably see the difference of these different lines over the video camera. And then I need to set up the ruler for two inches. 
so that I can get the outer part of the slot, which is a four inch diameter. Okay, so that's our finished drawing. Kind of hard to see this time with the fact that I used pencil instead of the marker to do the difference between object lines and construction lines, but our object lines are this big circle, the three slots, so here, here, and here. These circles here should be object lines, darker, a little bit harder to do small circles, dark, so here, here, and here. And then this circle here should be an object line. The rest of this should be lighter. So if you did some lines too dark, you can come in and erase a little bit. Probably not going to get it perfect. We're still going to see them a little bit in there. And last time I showed you a little trick of how to erase something that's close to a line. So if I'm trying to get rid of that little bit right there, I'm going to paper over and cover up what I want to keep. I erase to the paper and I can get rid of that extra line. But even no matter how much I erase, I'm still going to get uh, fragrances of these construction lines under there if they were too dark. Um, so we're still going to see them. I do not want you drawing center lines for these circles, for this circle. I don't want you drawing those center line lines here coming out uh, like we had before. So you're going to keep those how they were. <clears throat> So there you have it. That is the cup washer. That's our first time that we're using both the protractor and the compass on the same drawing. And we're going to be doing that again on the next drawing this week as we move forward. Um, but hopefully this tutorial video helps you accomplish this for homework. Good luck.